Hey guys, it's Amy at Zoe Beck and I'm going to do another vlog. Cooper is being a pain because I'm in here and not out on the couch, but I am going to go there in a second. So, um, it is October 1st. It is Victober. Yay. And, um, really excited to get a lot of Victorian reads done. I will of course have the, um, all the <laughs> links and stuff to the people, to the hosts and stuff, but I'm really enjoying, uh, Victober something I've taken part in every year that I've been on booktube. So it's, it's one of my favorites, but I'm also doing Spookopolathon. So I do have books for that. So, um, first Victober, as I said, I started Oliver Twist. So I'm only about, I today about 70 pages in. So I have still quite a bit to go. Um, it's not when I'm going to go, like, I don't think this is going to be <laughs> that I go through fast. Um, Dixon, Dickens, um, I read, when I do read it, I have to just read it in chunks and, you know, and I can't read it like all the time, but I'm going to give a, the, you know, again, the audiobook's pretty good is by Jonathan Price. And so I'm really enjoying it. Um, so again, I'm rereading the first 124 pages and then beyond that will be new to me. So I'm still in the, but I don't remember much of what I read three years ago when I started it before. So we will see how it goes. So far, so good. It's just today was not an audiobook day. I only listened to it on the way to work. And then I got to work and I just kept myself busy not listening to anything. So, you know, that's kind of, it happens. So we'll see. Maybe tomorrow I'll get a bigger chunk done, but today was not so much. But that's my first uh, read for Victober. I'm doing it for um, Marissa's prompt of serialized. Uh, that the book was serialized when it was published. So that is what I'm doing for that. And then for S Becca and the book Spookopolathon, I uh, my first roll was an eight and it got me to uh, present. So I, I tried like four books before I remembered that this book is one I was just calling to me. And for the last couple of weeks, I put it off saying, oh, I have all these other books I need to read. Well, I should have just read it. Anyway, so this is one calling to me. So it is pretty much, a, you know, uh, the book I want to read right now, which is Autumn Thorns by Yas Yasmin um, Gail Thorne. No, Nord. I keep wanting to say Thorn because the, the <laughs> title is Thorns. Anyway, so Gail Norn. Anyway, so I know she has quite a few books out in different series. This one is a trilogy. Um, uh, again, an urban fantasy with spirits and ghosts and things. Um, we have Karis who has come back after leaving town. Um, when she graduated from high school, she left because she had an art, she had issues with her grandfather and she comes back 15 years later when her grandparents are killed. And so then she has to take over for her grandmother to be this spiritual sentinel kind of thing, protector of the area up in, um, northern of Washington um um by a lake called Lake Lake Crescent or Crescent Lake I don't remember which way it goes anyway um anyway so so far it's so good I'm really enjoying it um it's definitely um because it's first person it to me it's an urban fantasy more than a paranormal romance because we're getting um just our main character's POV at least so far so I'm gonna I'm guessing this is more on the the urban fantasy side. It feels like that to me so far. Anyway, I got about 50 some pages um, at work on my breaks today. So I'm going to now sit down and read a little bit of this and watch some booktube. Um, so many um, lovely TBR videos are up right now with everybody doing all their different readathons. There's so many I could have joined in on and it was so hard just to stick to two. But as I said, I do Victober every year and I look forward to it every year. Um, and then uh, Spookopathon is just fun. And I did that last year and really enjoyed the roll as you go method, which is what I'm going to do. So when I get close to the end of this book, then I will do another roll to see what my next um, regular fiction or you know book will be beyond my uh, Victober stuff. Because I'm going to switch between Victober and um, other books, you know, for reading. Um, anyway, Cooper is getting cuddly here, so I'm going to go and I will check in with you later. Um, these vlogs are probably going to be fairly long. I'm just going to do them like three or four days at a time. I think I'm just going to just throw things together when I feel like it's time to close it and go. So we'll see how this month goes. I'm just kind of taking a chance and kind of going to go off of how talkative I am. So anyway, I, yes, you're a fur bug. You're so cute. Anyway, I will check in later.
Okay, guys, so it is the end of October 1st for me. I'm going to bed. Um, so, um, I did, I didn't read very much, but I'm at 87 pages. I just, I'm having trouble, um, reading at home during the week. I don't know why. It's just not happening. <laughs> so, but I am really enjoying this and I really, I stopped kind of when things, uh, another event was kind of happening. Something shocked me just a little, uh, chapter before. So this is really good. I'm really enjoying this, um urban fantasy. So, um, as I said, so <laughs> tomorrow, the 2nd of October or October, you know, um, I will continue with, um, Oliver Twist, except not until after I start my buddy read, uh, with Burner, Burner's Bookish Adventures. We're reading, oh, book 13, I think, of, um, the Love at Stake series. So we start Wild About You, um, tomorrow. So I have to listen because I got the audiobook from the library. Um, 72 pages. Um, so I have to read the first five chapters um, um, tomorrow. So I'm starting this tomorrow and then I will try to get back to this. So it's going to be kind of interesting with my audiobooks. It matters again how I feel at work on how much I listen to at work because today was not one of those days. But we're going to try those. So I'll have that and then this will be my physical book as I said I'm going to continue on so I don't I think for the next few days this vlog might go long enough where I might get to finish <laughs> some of these books but it's going to take a couple of days so there might not be much to update in the next couple of days I just realized that I'd kind of forgotten what I all had started <laughs> so um it just depends how much I read tomorrow um on what I mean again my buddy read is scheduled so that's going to be between Wednesday to Sunday so that one I won't finish but then if I want to listen to audiobooks I'll listen to Oliver Twist after that and if I want to physically read I will continue with Autumn Thorns and try to get that done and again that's just over like 315 pages so I could get that done maybe Thursday Friday I don't know <laughs> we'll see how this goes I guess I wasn't really thinking that I forgot how the buddy read will affect how much I get done on the other books, but that's fine. It's all going to be good. So I'll be reading, <laughs> a, you know, I'll read the classic and then I'll read um, the urban fantasy and then a paranormal romance. Because again, I consider this more urban fantasy because it's first person and it follows her through the three books in the series. So to me, that's an urban fantasy. Um, even though there's a romance um, line in there, I don't know how much yet because I haven't got that far it's, but these are definitely paranormal romances with werewolves and shifters and other things. So, um, anyway, I think that's it for tonight. Anyway, I'm just rambling because I'm going to go to bed now. <laughs> okay. I will check in with you on Wednesday tomorrow. Okay. Okay, guys. So it is five o'clock. I'm just a little bit after I just had dinner on two. No, it's Wednesday. I don't know what day it is. The second. Um, today was a really boring day at work. I mean, I worked, but it was just quiet and, I mean, part, the quiet part wasn't the problem. It was just, I was doing boring stuff. I didn't, stuff I didn't like to do. I mean, the morning was good because I was ordering stuff and that went fast and then it was got, <laughs> kind of slowed down. So anyway, wasn't that much fun. So, um, on the way to work, uh, today I started Wild About You by Carolyn Sparks. Oh, I don't remember who the narrator is. They change every book, so I I forgot to look it up. I'll figure it out later. Um, anyway, so I did the first five chapters because we split it up for five days. So I'm doing it again this with Berna. And um, this one started out really good because it's a character we've known through the books, just kind of a side character. And I was really excited um, when we find out that he gets his own book. Um, so he is a bear shifter and there's a lot of stuff going on in his past that we didn't know about that we now get privy to and how it connects to what happened in the last book so um so far so good and then she is we're just learning about her we just met her in the last chapter um she just appeared and uh, she's going to be doing a renovation show um for and on this uh, house 
So she's, she, so it's really funny. I don't want to go give too much away, but anyway, so she's going to be there and there's some kind of connection between them right off. So, um, cause something bad happens right in chapter five. Anyway, so I want to read on, but I did not. Um, so anyway, that started out good. These are always really fun. Um, these paranormal romances, I really enjoy them. So again, it's a fun, fun series. So I'm enjoying that. I did listen to a little bit of Oliver Twist. Um, I think I did about, I think I did about 45 pages. And then I stopped because I was right before the part where I um, stopped last time, which this picture is actually right where I stopped last time. And I, I'm afraid to continue again. It, it's because it, I feel so bad for Oliver. I think that's what this whole book is, is I just feel bad for Oliver. So um, I will get through that somehow. But tomorrow I might need to do a, like a tandem read to get me through it. Or at least get past where the next two chapters is pretty much the problem. Anyway, so, um, so again, I've made progress. I'm at 114 pages, 115 pages. So it's like I'm making progress. I'm not reading quite as fast as I would like to, but I also knew that this would be a problem. I think I'll be fine once I get past where I read before and uh, it's all new stuff and I don't know for sure what's going to happen. I haven't watched an adaptation of Oliver Twist like for years, so I don't remember any of it from either the musical or other adaptations. I've, I've seen some over the years, but I don't remember them at all, uh, really at all. Um, so... But I'll work on that. My Victober reads are just going to be kind of slow, which is kind of the point. This week is for Oliver Twist. And then next week I have another book that I'm going to work on through the week. And then, you know, so I have my main ones I want to get through. I'm, I'm splitting them up that way. And if I get some extra ones, that's great. But we will, I'm trying to do my four primary ones. So we'll see what happens. Um, but I did make some progress in Autumn Thorns on my lunch break and my afternoon I did my breaks mostly. So I'm, with what I read last night, I'm about 150 pages in now. So almost halfway, not quite. So um, I did mention that I, at first, was considering this very much an urban fantasy because it's first person and the way the there was really good world building and stuff. But it is very paranormal romance uh, cliches in the romance part. The romance part has kicked up, which I was kind of afraid of <clears throat> on the way it, it is. Um, I don't want to give any anything away. It's not like it's bad. It just meant it's not what maybe the way I would want want it. Um, but um, I, I like the, the male character. I like the connection that's happening. It's just to me, it's too fast kind of thing. So, but that's just, it's my personal <laughs> opinion. But in this, for what what they are to each other, it makes sense. But I'm also like, uh, I don't know. So we'll see how this book goes. Anyway, on the romance front. World building and um, mystery, all good. Like, uh, the world, it's all really a really cool, spooky place. This uh, Whisper Hollow. And again, she deals with spirits and ghosts and things. And they're all kind of different levels. And some of them are very scary, like the Shadow Man. Anyway, it was, uh, it's been really good, I, I think. And there's been a lot of reveals about her family that she didn't know about. Um, I would say one of my only critiques in that is that it seems like kind of weird that she didn't know some of this stuff before she left. But, you know, family secrets are always kind of hard. Anyway, so... Anyway, I'm really enjoying this. But now I'm kind of thinking it's more kind of a bordering more on the paranormal romance rather than the urban fantasy, even though it's first person. But, um, because that's usually how I... It's usually, it's not, it's, it's very, the romance is, is still not the main storyline, but it is, it's, it's not what I expected, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway, so I will probably check in before I, um, before tonight. Sorry if you hear my laundry. I, I forgot I had that running. So I'm going to watch some booktube. I'm going to read some pages in here and, uh, I will let you know how it goes and I'll check in later.
Are you comfy? Yeah. Are you both enjoying the box now? Look at you guys. I did actually get something in that box yesterday that I haven't shown you guys yet because I haven't taken it out of its box, but it's for them. But I'm letting them enjoy the big box at least for a little while. So anyway, oh, this could go badly. They start out licking, but usually these brothers don't always stay that way. Let's see here. See? <laughs> Hey guys, so it is now 10 minutes to 10. I need to go to bed. I just, <laughs> it's been a long night. Um, Or not, it went fast or whatever. Anyway, I did read up to 212 pages. So I have 80 pages left of this. So I'm I'm gonna finish this tomorrow. Um, if I finish it, I probably finish it when I get home from work tomorrow. I don't think I can read 80 pages at work, but we'll see, who knows? <laughs> it's on the kind of day I have. Um, because, um, again, I'm going to, um, I have to do my pages for this. It's like 70 some pages of that. And then I want to try to read some of this, but that's low priority tomorrow. Cause I do want to finish this. So this has gotten really good. Um, it, it is a lot of romance or spiciness that, um, I knew was coming because of what it, uh, cause of a scene that had happened earlier. I'm still... I don't know. I kind of wish it would gone in a, a little slightly different way. Um, because this has a, you know, not quite, it's faded mates, but kind of a different take on it. I think that part's good. I just, you know, not always, it doesn't always click right, but it's fine. I mean, I like them and I like them together. And yes, they have good spicy scenes. So it's not bad. It's just, you know, it's a short book. So <laughs> there's not like a lot, but it's just, you know, but I'm enjoying it. Um, the world, um, as I said, and the mystery is good. Um, some, um, some things happened in this section that I read tonight. So I'm really looking forward to the end to see what happens in the last 80 pages. And I mean, at this point, I'm looking forward to continuing the series, at least at this point. So we'll see how it goes in the end. If I hold true to that and want to find uh, the second book um, in this series. So I will have to hunt that down but we'll see anyway anyway that's it for uh wednesday night as i said i'm gonna go to bed and tomorrow i don't have i might have one or two errands i have to do after work but work should be normal i don't know of anything going on at work that might be weird but i'm going to as i said i think i'm gonna just focus on autumn thorns after i get my buddy reed done because that has to be done first and then I can go on to the other stuff. So we'll see how that goes. Um, anyway, I think that's it. So I will uh, check in with you tomorrow. My cats are just now starting to zoom around. So um, they know I'm going to go to bed soon. So they always, like right before I go to bed, they start doing their zoomies. So they are right now kind of chasing each other. So anyway, I will see you guys in the morning. Well, I will probably won't check in until tomorrow afternoon. Because you already know what happened. Anyway, I'll check in later tomorrow. Okay, so it is now Thursday. Um, a little bit after about 5.30. I just had dinner, took out the garbage and all the recycling. I have a little bit more to take out in the morning, but I didn't want to go back out <laughs> anyway. Um, so I've done those. I just paid a few bills. You know, that's how that goes. Um, so I'm going to kind of give you an update of where I am on things. And then we're um, going to do the next Spookopolathon roll, uh, roll because I did finish Autumn Thorns by um, Yasmin Gailnorn um, before I left work. I was actually surprised I made it that far. Uh, it was a quiet day. And um, um, even though I kind of, my, things were kind of screwed up, I missed a... So, uh, we got some food from... Um, a barbecue place and they shorted us the fries and I had to go get it and then when I was gonna have lunch with the guys I got called out to unload steel so I have that's why I have hard hat bangs here like I just my bangs don't like the hard hat <laughs> anyway so kind of yeah anyway so I did finish this before I left work 
Um, this is book one. So there are two other books. This is an interesting publishing. I have to look more into the story of it. But the first two books were published by um, by Jove, I think. Yeah, Jove or, you know, or part of Penguin. But um, the last one is self-published a couple years later. So it's kind of one of those things where I'm wondering if she... I don't know if she got dropped or she left a um, traditional publishing because I think she has stuff in the indie publishing now. So I might have to look more into it. There are a, quite a few series. I know somebody told me about the, is it the Otherworld series with Witchling as the first book? I found that one on Audible Plus um, that I can listen to with my membership. So I might try that at some point, but I am going to try to get the second book, but um, the, I can only get them used and they're kind of expensive. And but the but the ebooks are just as expensive for book two. So I might wait till I have enough points on my Kindle rewards kind of thing that I have. And then it'll be $3 off and it'll be only $2.99 to buy the ebook for the second one, um, Shadow Silence. Because I do want to know what happens. There, there's a lot of good things in here. This is definitely more paranormal romance an urban fantasy even though it just starts out so urban fantasy because it has all it ticks off a lot of the boxes for me first person narrative um it has a lot of you know mysteries and things like that that's very urban fantasy there is a strong romance element in here which really kind of derailed me a little bit not because it was bad and not because I didn't like the couple, I just wasn't expecting the spiciness. And again, I read a lot of spicy stuff. So, so it's not because it's spicy that I was off. It was just, I, I'm not used to that in my urban fantasy. So this is definitely probably more in the paranormal romance um, section because the romance, even though the main plot is still very urban fantasy. I mean, I know it's a small town, but you know, it's that kind of those feels with the creatures and the magic because again she sees ghosts and spirits and things like that and she's working with some other people um to help in this town in her hometown that she's come back to but the romance is pretty prevalent um for certain aspects of it so give or take you know so it, it's not a favorite i do want to read the second book and try that so i haven't decided if i'm going to fork out the money as i said for a uh, used copy or by the ebook. We'll see what happens. Um, but, um, I do have one more book of hers on my, um, cart uh, that has all my first books in series. Um, so I think it's flight, flight and death or something. And so it was the start of another series. I bought both of these, I think within the same year, I pre-ordered both of them and I meant to get to them back in 2015, I think. Um, so 15 or 16. I can't remember what year I, well, I bought this one in, yeah, 2015. Anyway, so, but I did enjoy this and I'm glad I did that project to get myself to read the first chapters and then I picked this up. Again, unfortunately, it's not a favorite, but I do want to continue the series. So there is that. So, um, I did not, oh, I didn't bring it in here. Um, but I did do my pages for my buddy read of Wild About You by Carolyn Sparks. So that I did, I'm on track. I did my second day. And again, we're doing that in five days. So I did that. I did not pick up Charles Dickens because I still need to push myself through the two chapters that where I stopped last time. So that's going to be tomorrow's project. I will, I will deal with this tomorrow. Um, again, after I do my buddy read pages. But um, before I spin, I do want to kind of put it out there because <laughs> it was in the last vlog and I wasn't sure how I was feeling about it, but I have decided to DNF The Bridge Kingdom by Daniel L. Jensen, which is re I'm really sad about because this book is really pretty and the new covers are really pretty too in their own way. Um, I'm glad I canceled my pre-order. Um, but this book, like it's been a couple days and I've already like just let it go. Like my brain just went, no, nah, I don't care. <laughs> so it's still, I like the main male character the female character, I still had trouble with her. And again, I am I got to halfway through the book. And um, I know it's a duology, so I know that there's still a lot of stuff that could happen. But um, I just didn't like, I just, there's certain things about this I just didn't like. And I, I it was hard for me to, to continue reading it. And I just think it's just not for me. <laughs> anyway, so that didn't work out. I'm feeling kind of bad. I did 
I will, I do want to try a Fate Inked and Blood still because I bought that really pretty hardback book. Um, that was actually the first one I bought of hers. Um, but I want to try the Bridge Kingdom because everybody always talks about it. It just didn't work for me. But um, I do want to read, um, try to read a Fate Inked and Blood because I've heard a couple, a lot of good things and a, and a couple of like it didn't work for other people. Now that this didn't work for me, I'm a little more worried about that like liking that. So I need to read that. So I do have, um, I'm on the hold list for at the library, but it's going to be out like a couple, <laughs> like maybe a couple months. I don't know. We'll see. If I get to it physically before then, that's great, but it's not going to be this month because I need a break from that. So I'm not going to do that. So that is kind of my update right now. So, okay. So now I'm going to move the camera or, you know, I'm going <laughs> to do a little handheld and we're going to, um, do Spookopathon on my, um, on my iPad and we'll see how this goes. Um, I don't have any idea what I want next. Cause again, as I said, I'm reading my Victober books. Uh, and then I'm also doing other, you know, normal <laughs> current books, <laughs> you know, so we'll see how it goes. So anyway, let me, let me spin and um, we'll, or roll the dice and see what happens. Okay. So here we are. <laughs> Trying to set this up. It's not working very well. Okay. I was on present. So here's go. And I got to present, which is the book I just read, which is a book I really wanted to read. So now I'm going to flip over real quick. Sorry. And we're going to roll a dice. I did not roll it. That's what it came up on when I put this on. So we're going to roll it. Okay, I did want to mention that if I do get a double, that means I will roll again. And I will try to either combine the prompts or I will have to do two books before I can do another roll. Does that make sense? Okay, because I'm doing the roll as you go method. So here we go. Oops. So I got a nine. Okay, so I don't have to re-roll. That's good. So we go back. Okay, so I'm at present. So we go one three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, community shelf. Okay. Okay. I do have a list for this. Hold on. Those are the prompt ones. I think that's here. Hold on. That's not, I'm on the wrong one. Let's go back to my wheels. Here we go. So community shelf. I just picked some props. Like I had, um, if you can see, Page counts, nonfiction, urban fantasy for my triad chapter, like one I just picked up. Fantasy, horror, um, I just and they just doubles. So I, I did throw a kind a combination in here. Not not too many things. So I don't know, I couldn't think of what prompts to use. <laughs> I just threw some in one day. So I guess we're gonna have to use it. So here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, I forgot to turn this I my sounds off, so. Oh, I got a horror book. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Okay. Okay. So, um, let me go back just to remind you is I made it partway around the board to community shelf and I get to read a horror. Okay. So I have three options that were on my TBR potentials, you know, possibility pile of possibilities. The first one is the Rachel Harrison, um, the return, where her friend disappeared and then like two years later exactly to the day she reappears and there's something different about her. I don't know about this one. I'm kind of like interested. I'm not sure I want to read it yet, but that's that's an option. And then I have two Darcy Coates um, because again, I always read her now in October. I read her at other times too of the year, but it goes the best during the spooky months. And then I have The Haunting of Ashburn House. Um, which is one that I picked up from the library once and read the first couple chapters, but I had just read um, The Haunting of Blackwood House, I think it is. And um, it was just too simple, like it was too much all together. <laughs> so I returned it. And then later I found um, a used copy, um, I think at Powell's, yeah. So um, so this one's one where this uh, young woman um, is really broke, things are just not going well. And she had inherited this house that's, I don't know from, I don't know how it's in her family, but, um, but it's the only place for her to go. And I think it's like way out in the middle of nowhere from any town. So she's pretty much going to be stranded there and, uh, things go wrong pretty quickly. So, um, I do want to read that. And I also have The Haunting of Lee Harker, 
which is another haunted house one. This one is a woman's been living in this house for like 10 years or for, for more than a decade. And then suddenly everything starts going wrong and it's like things start manifesting um, shades open and there's noises and a, a figure lean, you know, shadows in, in her bedroom. So this one sounds like a good one too. But I think I am going to go with the one that I tried before that I never got a chance to finish. I think it's now time to get to this. So I'm going to read The Haunting of Ashburn, Ash, Ashburn House. Anyway, as my uh, horror book for, um, for my second role of Spookopolathon. So anyway, that's where I'm going to close this vlog out um, because I finished a book and it's been a couple of days and... It'll be a couple more days before I finish anything else. So we might as well clock it here. So anyway, what are you guys doing? How is your reading going? How is your uh, Victober? Or if maybe <laughs> you're reading for other uh, readathons like Spookopothon or something else. Um, again, I'm just um, enjoying myself as we go here. Even though I'm not reading as much as maybe I would like to. Especially on Oliver Twist. But I'm hoping that tomorrow I will get past... <laughs> where I stopped last time and I actually make um some progress in that because I would really like to finish that by the end of the month by the end of the <laughs> end of the month by the end of the week like the weekend like by Sunday so that I can start my next Victober read which is a physical read but I want to have that um audiobook done before then but I don't want to start the other book until that one's done so <laughs> we'll see how it goes and again I still have seven hours on my audiobook so I still have like over 300 pages. So I still need to work on that one too. So anyway, I think that's it. I did really enjoy this one. And, you know, we're making progress on other things. Anyway, so um, that's it. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.